Hey everyone, Nick Rummick from Filmmaking from YouTube and from The Vault. Uh, I just decided to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about something that I've got a lot of questions about, and that was vlogging. Vlogging for YouTube specifically, um, most likely when you're in a situation when you're just kind of like I'm doing right now, um, at home, kind of just talking, vlogging about whatever. I'm going to go over a few different little options, but uh, what we want to most uh, focus on here is your lighting and your lenses and then your camera settings really and uh, that's pretty much it and audio as well audio is a huge thing so if you want to bring up that quality of those videos then you're gonna have to focus on those things so I'm gonna show you the rig that I like to use I know it's it's a few years old but I love it it's uh, my good old Canon 60D it's uh it's it's beautiful i love it uh so what it is canon 60d is a few years old uh so you can pick it up for pretty cheap um it does everything you need one of the coolest features i know they've got the uh, 70d 80d and i think even 90d now um, is this cool little flip open thing here so when you're recording you can see yourself so uh, that's handy. Um, it flips around. Um, so it's, it's really good for vlogging on the go if you want to kind of see what you're up to from here. Uh, a lot of people will walk around and, and they'll, they'll do vlogging as they're walking. And that, that's why this system kind of looks the way it does. Um, so uh, audio here is, of course, Rode. I really love Rode. So this is the, wire, uh, this is the uh, Video Mic Pro. Um, it's got phantom power and if you ever hear phantom power what that refers to is uh, separate pro um, separate sound uh, or sorry separate uh, battery so you have to put another battery into there it powers itself and then it plugs into the side jack here you do have to switch it on don't forget that because otherwise you have no audio at all and uh, that's pretty much it I've got this thing uh, hooked to a 24 millimeter Canon lens. It's called a pancake. It's a prime lens. It's really nice. Uh, it's got a 2.8 um, aperture, which is, is quite good. It uh, brings a lot of light in, and um, I really like it. Uh, it's a prime lens, so it doesn't zoom, but prime lenses generally have better glass and are higher quality. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, that's great. Uh, 24 millimeter lens is a little bit more of a wide angle lens, which is good uh, because of the crop sensor, because 60D is not a full frame camera, that, uh, that actually crops a, quite a bit. Um, so you'll be closer than you would if you had it on a full, uh, full frame. So 24, I think is my magic spot for, for vlogging, especially if I'm walking like this as I'm talking. Um, the one problem with this, uh, I guess it's just a stand, but I use it as a monopod and then I can always pop it onto a stand. The, the problem with that though, is the fact that as I'm walking, uh, you get a lot of bounce and shake because it doesn't have a gimbal. Um, if that's primarily what you do and you walk a lot and you're noticing a lot of bounce and shake in there, I'd recommend on, um, investing in the DGA Ronin. S or the SC. Um, the SC is slightly smaller. Uh, it's meant for mirrorless cameras. This one doesn't have a mirrorless. This is a little heavier. I think you're looking at like three pounds or three three kilograms. I can't remember what it was, but either way, um, I th I would go with this particular camera. I would go with the uh, the S, just the S, and it's beautiful. It will, it's got the gimbal just like the Ronin MX. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful. So uh, it'll stop that shake. Um, and that runs you a couple hundred dollars, I think $300, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is my setup. This is what I'd recommend. Um, what, what I do have to say though, with any lenses, um, what you wanna do is you wanna crank your aperture down as low as you can. See this one here has got the 2.8 see the 2.8 so that's pretty low you want to drop that to 2.0 your ISO always as low as you can possibly get it because 
when you have something with a high ISO, you'll notice that grainy, noisy stuff going on in the background with your really low quality videos. That'll just take people right out of your video. So you wanna play around with that. If you can set it to a 100 or the lowest setting, go ahead and then play around with your f-stop and make sure that your, um, your uh, sorry, your aperture is down as low as it possibly can because that's gonna get you the most light, the most actual light, and that's gonna be the cleanest, clearest, sharpest image you can get. And then to darken it, I would play around with, uh, with the f-stop if you can, and ISO try to, I, I don't like auto ISO because it adjusts every once in a while, but it depends on the situation. Um, but I would drop that as low as you can. If you're at home, definitely use your lights. And this, I've got two panel lights here. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, these ones are actually lighting. Uh, once you learn a three point lighting system, or even right now I'm using a two point lighting system. What you want to do is get that light into the scene because um, I can get a better, sharper image on this camera out in the light in a nice sunny day, especially with the settings. If I set the settings properly, then I can with the camera that we're filming with right now. The camera we're filming with right now is a Blackmagic 4K production camera. So it's more, it's less, it's not a DSLR. It's a cinematography, uh, an actual video camera. Uh, those run a lot of more money, but if you do the right thing with this, then you can get yourself a really nice clear image. So I'm gonna be linking a lot of the, uh, the equipment that I use. Um, this one here that's right working right now is using a 50 millimeter lens and I've dropped down the uh, aperture as low as it can at 1.8. Uh, Nifty 50 is a beautiful lens, especially if you're doing portrait or um, if you're doing videos such as this where you just wanna kind of zoom in on one person. Um, for audio though, I'm not using the Rode here. The Rode is more of a shotgun mic so that if you're on the road and you're like vlogging and then you're talking yourself, then you wanna to talk to somebody else, you point that shotgun at them. But in this particular case, when I'm doing things like this, I'm using um, this little Rode, it's a Rode Wireless Go. It's wonderful mic. It's not, it's like a lapel, uh, or you can connect a lapel to it, but it's a wireless system uh, that actually has a built-in lens, like you can hear me tapping on it. That is actually, this is just without a lapel uh, microphone hooked up to it. So pretty good quality, um, even without the lapel. Um, I just haven't gotten around to getting one. But uh, yeah, definitely audio, lighting, light. So I picked up some LED panels from newer off of Amazon. They're great. I think they were $100 $130, something like that for the whole kit. Comes with stands, comes with everything. Uh, and uh, here I'll show you real quick. This is one of them. They go wireless. So this one's not wireless. I'm gonna unplug that guy. So I don't know if you could see it. I'll, I'll link this as well, but uh, bleh, put that back. But they get a good shine on the face. So they get your, they light up your subject. Uh, if you wanna do darker lighting uh, and then have something like a da darker backdrop, you would put one behind to give me an outline and that'll just bring out your your uh your subject so i will just I'll, I'll put in the description a lot more stuff about these things but these are this is this is the basics pretty much if you're going to be doing any vlogging or anything like that you're going to want those three elements definitely so i guess four elements you got your lighting your camera settings your lenses and your audio now, if you get those four things right, you're going to bring up the quality of your, your videos really, really quickly. And you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. In fact, if you have some equipment already and you apply these things, like don't go out and buy a new camera. Because like I said, I can get this little guy here to do a better job than the 4K if I really tweak the settings. Obviously, the Blackmagic is better because it's got 4K. It also does a whole lot of awesome, cool little features. It's better for cinematography, but if I'm doing vlogging, I could do a comparison and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You might even go with this one. I've had people say, look how much better that black magic is. And I said, I filmed that on the 6CD. So uh, it's all about your settings. 
because I've seen some really, really, really crappy quality images and video come out of 60D when all you need to do is play with those settings, adjust your lighting in that scene, and you can get a hundred times better image. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear what you have. This is one of the first uh, episodes or the first videos that I'm doing here um, because of COVID. I kind of want to get out there and then kind of address the community. I want to give you guys what you want. Um, so this is the first intro. Let me know if there's anything else you have questions about. I will make videos about it. I will be doing it. Uh, we're doing a visual effects uh, course, an entire course on how to add CG elements to your um, already existing video. We'll go over the entire thing from start to finish and I'll be recording it. Uh, what, what, what equipment we use, um, what lenses, what focal length, how to do the whole thing, how to capture everything. We're just going the whole nine yards with that course. But I'm going to also be coming out with a lot more stuff specific to you guys that, um, that I think that you've, you've asked me over the last few years and um, stuff that we can kind of help you because right now COVID is a perfect opportunity to get working and uh, get working on your own creative um, stuff and vlogging is one of those things, YouTube content creation. You might as well do it right now while you're stuck at home. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and uh, definitely let me know what you think and what you think I should do for the next one. Thank you.